Hi there and welcome back. It's Tanya from Such Treasures. Hello. Um, so this is the start of the October uh, challenge. Um, <coughs> excuse me. It's Facebook group challenge. Um, <clears throat> you don't have to be on the Facebook group. Um, you can obviously just watch or you can uh, play along or you can come over to the Facebook group, uh, share your photos, your videos and be in a chance to win a, a prize so each month um we've been doing a challenge and to enter the prize draw all you need to do is make four things for for the month um at least four things for the month so you can do one project a week or you can do four and by that i just mean four you know different pieces um not for massive projects. Obviously, I'm going to do it on a lot bigger scale than <coughs> than um, the requirement for the um, prize draw. I hope that made sense. Um, at the end of the month, I put a post up saying, you know, anybody that's took part, uh, put your photos here, and then I gather all the names, put them in the Edith Alden teapot, and then pull a winner out. Um, I think, I think that's it. <laughs> so this month is all about using up your scraps and it's using up those paper pad scraps, uh, which I'm sure, you know, a lot of you have got. If not, you know, you can use those six by six pads, those eight by eight pads. Um, the scraps that I have are up Tim Holt scraps. Um, I've not worked with a lot of uh, paper pads up to yet. I've got a few, um, you know, to use in the future. But I have got lots of Tim Holtz uh, scraps. So I'm going to start off small. What I've done is, um, let me show you. I, I'd kept all my scraps together um, in a tub. Not in a tub. In a plastic um oh i don't know you know box and i got them all out and <clears throat> put them together so they're you know big long strips square strips <laughs> these are proper six by six and they're obviously um two six by sixes um, and then I've got all those little cards <coughs> from from the back. So that is my scraps. They're the other size that you get. So I thought I'd just start off with the smaller scraps first. Um, I might have to. I might have to go into some of these. Maybe. I'm going to take some of those. I might want those because they're a bit smaller than than the rest. Because I don't think I've got enough scraps on on my table. And if I do need any more, I can grab some of some of those. Now, what I'm hoping not to do is create a load more scraps. So, as I'm going through it, um, I will probably come back um, off camera. And make more of these type embellishments with um, these small scraps, which we're going to get from the bigger scraps. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. But you know that scraps make more scraps. Um, so, yeah, until they've gone, um, I will keep coming back to these small scraps. So, <clears throat> let me start off. So, <clears throat> first, I've got a one and a half punch round and a one and a half oval. I don't have masses of punches. I think I have four circle ones, an oval one, uh, a tab one, and the whole reinforcer. I mean rounder. Um, <clears throat> and that is uh, the ones that I own. So I'm going to start off by... <clears throat> let's get the trimmer out in this case anything needs trimming off. I think I'm going to do it this side. So, I can see that this is however long that is. Where's my ruler? 
so that is three inches and this is six inches i'm just going to trim it off a slight a slight bit because that ends a bit of it so it'll be just a little bit shorter okay and i'm folding it in half like so And then I'm going to put it into here. I don't want to obviously lose it. <laughs> I'm going to lose it, aren't I? Okay. So this is the first time I've, I've done this. So that tells me that for what I want it for, I need to go um, higher. So this one, I suppose I ought to tell you what I'm wanting to make um i prefer this side so this time i'm going to put it so the opposite way and i'm going to put it as far as i can go okay and then well, I can. I prefer that because then I could have a label at the bottom. So this is a specimen. Um, put some acetate either side, and if I wanted to, I could then score that and have it as a, you know, an opening. So, like so. Say this is an envelope, and then attach it like that, and it opens. Or I could keep it like that and put a label at the bottom. Or if I did want it more square, I could cut it off. But for now, that is fine. Um, this one, I'd just do upside down, wouldn't I? And that actually makes that the right way. Okay, so that's those. And obviously, I'm saving these. So let's let's carry on. So I'm going to make 10 of these because I think 10 is, is a good number. So remember, I want to hold on to the two bits that I've folded. Putting it in as central as, as I can. Am I doing this with a different hand now? I think so. And I'm going as high up as I can-ish want to leave myself some that I'm not going to lose it okay so we've got three oh, I'm doing it the wrong way like I say it doesn't really matter because you can just put it upside down it's if you had directional paper um, then obviously it would make a difference now that's obviously off centre so all I'm going to do is just trim that down just to make it central and that's that's a lot more central let me I know oh it's all right I've lost a lost a circle right so how many is that four come on let's do this So these scraps are between five and six inches um, high and I would say they're between two and a quarter, between two, two and a quarter and two and a half um, kind of width. So obviously you can do this with square punch, round punch and all the rest of it. All the other punches, I think I'm going to do it that way. So I'm just going to take that off. So I want that to be at the front. Let's try and... Okay. 
Oh, locked it. <laughs> Gosh. So that's that one. And again, it's going to look great with, um, with the label underneath. I'm not doing any of the embellishments. This is just, um, you know, building that coarse stash up. And then when I start doing uh, Tim Holtz projects, which will be coming up shortly, this is obviously the start, the start of that as well. So I think that just needs a touch off. This is great for people who's not got a die cut machine, which I don't don't have. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, eight, nine, ten. <clears throat> Go for those. So, oh, that's a nice one. It's a bit hard to get it central. I'm gonna say, I think, I think you're better not worrying about that and just cutting it off as as need. Okay, and then I'm going to do this again with the oval punch, so they'll be more like a frame than um, a specimen, but I would still use them in the same, you know, in the same kind of kind of way. I think I'd have that upside down. That one and then this is the last one so i'm gonna pause uh why why i do the oval one because obviously it's the same thing i'm using the same uh size i don't know that on that side uh the same size scraps let's put that in that way okay so that's that one, back in a tick. Okay, I've <clears throat> done 10 of them. Um, I'm just wondering where to keep these things. Um, <clears throat> that's, that's, hmm. I think I'll keep that in the Tim Holtz. Um, Top. I have got some things in, in these already what a Tim Holtz so I shall have a look through they won't go in with me blue things they're Tim Holtz -y. Keep them, keep them in there. Um, let's put that. But yeah, now I've got some Tim Holtz things in that one. So for now, this can live in here. So mm, I forgot about that. Um, so we've got ten uh, specimen ones. And we've got 10, which I would say was more like photo um, frames. So that's that. So what are we left for? Oh, let's put those in. So now we've got lots of ovals <laughs> and lots of circles. So <clears throat> some of them, I'm going to use them as... Um, tabs so that's one two how many will I have I'll have 20 won't I three Oh, 
Oh, I can't get that one in, ah. It's funny sometimes how that I can't do that. Let's put something in the paper. What's that? So that's ten of those. I think that's enough. Now what do these look like folded in half so you could go that way? Hmm. So much different apart from it being yeah, I quite like them as well. So I'll do ten ten of those. Gonna have to score them. Fingers have all gone funny now. That's better. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So these I'm just going to put in my tub. Um, of circles because they will they will get used used up for for other things so let's pop those in there and carry on folding these so i'm going to pause again i'm going to carry on and fold them i am going to um get the bone folder <coughs> really um fold these down and then all I'm going to do with the oval ones is just glue them. Um, I'm not going to do anything else to them. With the circle ones, I'm going to do uh, something else. So I'll see you in a tick. Okay, so I've done that and I've stuck them all together. So <clears throat> these are going to go in here. These are the ones I made uh, before and I just um, got the circle punch and just took a bit off each side so I like those so they can go in there so they're the oval ones and I'm left with the the round ones so I'm going to put a hole in each of these Doing it with a small one, aren't I? I'm never going to get the eyelet in those. Crikey. I need to put some tape on it or something because I'm always getting the wrong side. Or I'm having to, you know, go like this to check, check which one it is. So these ones are going to have eyelets in and I've been using lots of these um, in the last few <coughs> um, envelope journals and um, yep. 
and altered 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 file folders that I've been doing um, and I've been either just having the eyelet in or putting a charm on them so and I think they look good uh, with with or without a charm so I don't want the flowered ones which I keep picking picking out Oop. And I could do could do the same with the oval ones, um, but I'm not not going to. Oh, I've done it the wrong way round. What a plum! Oh, I've not said that for many years. What a plum! <laughs> oh, right, let's do it again. Okay, come on. I've gone to pot now. Okay. Get out there. That's that. Has that one done it? Yeah, but I think the bottom could do a change in. Oof, I'm never sure which one to use. I just kind of do it. If it's not totally right, then I twist it. Why does this keep? What's that? Okay, it hadn't clicked. It hadn't clicked in. A bit, a bit like my brain this morning. Just not clicked in yet. Right, I'll pause again while I do these because obviously I'm only doing the same thing. I'm not going to do any inking or anything. Um, I'll ink as, as I use them. But um, obviously then I would ink that side and then it would get rid of the, the white core. Um, which I'm not not fan fan of, and I want some grungy because I'm gonna be doing some Tim Holtz projects. Um, I'm hopefully next year <clears throat> I'm gonna try my hand at doing a a lap book. Um, I definitely want to do another altered book as well, and one of the junk mail uh, journals which I think all would be very nice uh, in Tim Holtz theme. So I thought before I embark on uh, doing a project, I might as well use all the scraps up from when I've used him before, uh, before I crack open um, some new new pads and end up with more scraps. Because uh, then I'm not going to be able to make anything. I'm just going to have loads of scraps and... Just be able to make small, small things, and then you're like, oh, I need another pad. Um, and if he's not going to be doing the 12 by 12s anymore, then you need to be using every single little piece. Right, I've done those. I'm still going to pause because I need to think what I'm doing next. I'll put these away. Okay, next I'm going to cut some uh, two inch circles. Um, so I want some more circular type um ones so that's kind of a good good size just probably the blue stuff will end up going more with me bird um things but for now i will just keep everything together I'll do two out of that, so that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, probably eight, nine, ten. Oh, that's one of the finger cards, but I'll use it in this. Right, I've done a few more than ten because, <clears throat> like I say, a lot of them will end up then going with um, my bird things so that's one put that there to do something else with try it oh that's nice I might just use that as an embellishment So 
So these are going to be uh, bases for clusters. So I do, I really like circle clusters. I think they look nice on corner pockets. And nice one for page decoration. Anywhere. So probably when I start the Tim Holtz thing, maybe the first one or two, um, I might embellish what we've made in this series um, and then carry on, carry on from there. I can get three out of that. Okay, so we've got lots of circles for cluster bases. And I don't know if I should be mixing the Tim Holtz stuff with. No, I'm going to take these out and I'm going to keep them all together because, like I say, I then want to make things with them um, when I start. So <clears throat> that's some uh, bases. I think that's all I'm going to need the the big one for um, and then I'm going to use this to now this I find really difficult I've, um, I've not had it long Karen bought it me for my birthday um, but I find it very difficult to see you know, <laughs> exactly that just proves that to see where um, where it is and then you end up wasting um a lot of paper because you can't see um yeah so it's hard to know where to go so you can kind of see it but yeah it's just it's difficult That will probably be one of those things that, you know, the more I use it, the more, more I get where it, get where it is. I don't know if that's, you know, I don't think it had. Um, see, I mean, you would think that you could get one out of that, but <coughs> it is really, yeah, silly. Oh, that's a whole one as well. <laughs> don't throw the whole ones away. So yeah, um, any tips? So you can't take take that out. So I'm going to sit here and go through these. Um, I will put these with my normal uh, things because obviously I'm not going to be decorating uh, these. Oh, look at that. So... And then it gets stuck. In theory, it's a great tool. Ah, I just can't see. So, okay. Yeah, that was drastically wrong. Anyway, you don't want to see me... Uh, <laughs> struggling so I'll finish all these off yeah I'm gonna waste some paper I know that but at least we'll have ended up with some see you in a bit okay um I've done quite a few I did get a little bit better at it but I still think it wastes quite a lot of paper so I'll just put those in in there then these three because a lot of them <coughs> had gone in that close that um this bit was you know open but um, there was these couple that wasn't. So I thought I would just cut cut those down. Is that about the same? No, a little bit more. That's quite a lot in. So 
about right, yeah. And this one. Yeah, so <clears throat> they can go in my tent. They're my bases for my clusters, so they can go in. Okay, what shall we do next? Um, I want some one inch circles. So I want those taller ones. So again, I'm going to use these more boxy uh, ones. don't really want the more blue so I'm going to cut this off and when I've finished I will do some more um, eyelets that's um, some I just got that. <laughs> um, let's do some of these. I've looked, totally lost count. Circles are good for lots of different things. So I think I could get two uh, whole things out of that one. That's gonna have to go with that one. Let's just use that bit up. No, I could probably get a hole out of that and use this bit up. Okay, pop that there. So I'll do a few more. Well, I might as well do that. That's no use an ornament, is that? two circles might as well use this as well if it fits yeah just okay and we'll do a couple more brown well greeny brown probably get one out of that so that's plenty for that right so let's halve them two four two four two 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 blue 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 two okay so what am I doing yeah <laughs> so um, these are going to be for button uh, closures so I'm just going to go in through the middle I wonder if I can do a couple at a time and trouble is if you've not got it central you've then gone through lots but it doesn't have to be Spot on. So I find having these useful um, to have on hand because I do think there's quite a bit to the button closure. Um, so if you've got these already made up, it's part of the job done. Now I did get some little brads out. I can see those. I've got some square ones out. Where have they gone? Ah, oh, there. So I'm going to put those in there. And I'm going to open them up to keep them in. So 
so that's that right I shall do the rest um, while you're on pause I best um, film my camera because if it overheats it, it won't have filmed any of it um, and obviously the longer you have it on pause uh, the hotter it gets so I might have to stop um, after this one and then do do a part two uh, to give my phone a chance to to cool down because otherwise if I kept the film running it would be very very long because all these little things they, they do take time especially if you're mass, <coughs> mass making them um, and I think well while you've got everything out you might as well uh, mass make so if you don't have leftover scrapbook uh, stuff, then obviously you can use uh, digitals, but you probably want to have uh, done them on at least like, well, I don't know, 160 and more. I mean, I would go with 200, but... Um, you could do it with book pages if you've glued it onto to something uh, a bit more you know on some card right I'll pause <laughs> okay that's those done so I have got a tin uh, for those somewhere I thought I did. Is it up here? Yeah. yeah, I think it's just the circles. Yeah, there's those in on just plain circles. So they're going to go in there. And I think I've seen Tina do this where you put a thing in. So, say that was something that flapped over you would do that that would go there and then that would go there but I think maybe it would be better but I don't know if this then would be far too small let's have a look so then you would put your hole in there these I got from um, AliExpress. Just put your thing in there. Aha! Yes, I think this is going to be the right size. That look. It would have to be really tight to, um, but obviously I don't want to bang it down. So I'm going to save those ones. In my circle 10 so I definitely don't want any more uh, circles even though there I'm going to pop those in there so I might as well use this leftover what's on here for these <laughs> this will be a fun fun element so if anybody can't find them I don't know what they called I think there was something like to do with uh, oh, I've got two more to do with like pictures I think they're the levers at the back of uh, picture frames And I don't think the top ones, um, oh, you know, the other one's much smaller. Let's go. Oh, wow. Come on. Let's give my hands a rest after. Oh, 
I bet you I'll be hoovering circles up um, forever like glitter. finish these two off gosh that's that one probably have to get some more little brads out and then you think you haven't got any left because you look and you think but you've got stuff ready uh, ready to go so that's that um try and do a couple at a time mind you i think by the time i've level you know leveled them up i might be best to just do one at a time try and concentrate i think it would probably be better doing it on the book i think i might get um a better middle yeah because you can see it a lot better Oh, that's good. So I could just put them all on here, and I could have cut them out, couldn't I? And make you know, got them to pop on here. That would save the having to pick them all up. Right, I shall pause and do these. Uh, maybe the hole's not big enough doing it that way. Okay, see in the tag. Okay, so I've used all those on. Now, I've got these tiny little tags. Um, they're like jewellery, you know, price tags. So I thought I could do some with those. I think stamping these would have been a good idea. They have been tea stained. So that's another idea and I know you can get those little punches what do really tiny tags or if you've got <coughs> a die cut machine or you could you could make some out of your scraps so all these uh, things that we've been doing if you have got the Tim Holtz pad at the back where there's all those you know two by two squares all these projects could have been done with those uh, two by two because we've done nothing apart from the specimen cards what I've got that little bit uh, of a longer piece we've done nothing really over two inch so um, you could have used a stack of them up um, doing these projects and if you've not got the Tim Holtz and you're doing it in something else then yeah all those really small scraps that you know you've been saving waiting for that oh i'm gonna use that so, at some time and then you know sometimes you look at them scraps and you think why have i kept something so small well you can make something with them um 
but again i think unless you sit and mass make them you're never gonna think all right i'm gonna get my scraps out just to make one of these i mean i wouldn't um i really wouldn't not be bothered but you know you know to break from what you're doing a big project just to do something um like this and obviously it's total waste of time just doing one um might as well just make make a load up so i mean you can see i've made loads of things and i've hardly touched this first this first batch of scraps um so yeah it's surprising uh, what you can make so if you've any other ideas of things now these ones are like a see-through uh like a um not acetate yeah acetate no not acetate vellum um for tiny scraps not not big scraps you know two three inch kind of ideas then do let me know um because when i do 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 uh, the Tim Holtz series I could perhaps um, the scraps that I make in that from making bigger things I can have a try of, of your ideas so if if you um, are on the Facebook group you can obviously post yours and then um, it'll give me some more ideas myself so we shall call it a day i'm going to come back later i'm going to give my phone uh time to cool down and um recharge and then i shall come back and we're still on you know small scraps um so see see what else can get used up and i think then whatever i've got left of small scraps um i'm gonna make circles and whole reinforcements uh just to get them get them used up right i shall see you later bye for now